Jerry Dreger, Dreger's International Classic Sales in Burlington, Washington. We just got this 1979 Lincoln Continental Mark V in. And it's a really, really nice car. It's not perfect, it's not show, but you look at it, you can see how nice it is. It was sold to us with uh, 37,000 actual miles, but we know it's 137,000 miles. We could just tell it's clean. The engine compartment's clean and everything, we'll show you that. So it's just a nice car, but it's got some rock chips and they, you can't even see those hardly, probably in the camera, but it's got them in here. I just want you to know that. And you can see the grill looks all good. See, there's more, there's a couple of spots in here. They're there, but there's nothing big. The other thing I like on this car is the convertible top. It's got the cam, this is a, you know, a top put on. But look what they did. They put the bow, like the bows of a convertible, I look at it all the time and I think it's a convertible, but it's not. It's just the way they built this car. It's a clean inside. You can see in there and see how clean that is, the seats. At first, when I first saw it, I was thinking, those can't be the stock original seats, but I've looked. And that's the stock seats in there. And they're in great shape. They look like 37,000 mile seats. The rear seat doesn't even look like it's been set in, but I'm sure it has. The dash is all good, looks good. Of course, these are, they got all the neat stuff on it. These are just nice cars. So let's look at the engine compartment here. So you can see what it looks like. It's just clean, looks good. Nothing fancy. Let's, I'm gonna start it right now so you can hear it run. Now we had it running already, so it's not like, I gotta, Shut the door so that it quits ringing. Headlights, they work. It needs a dimmer switch, and we're trying to find one. You can't, it can't, uh, it won't work. So we got to get that. It's got a tilt wheel in it. The horn works. Wipers work. If I knew where they were at. The wipers are over on the dash there. Over here? Yeah, oh yeah, there. see there's, so there's the wipers. I haven't driven this car enough to know where everything's at. So does this have a push button in the glove box for the trunk release? Yep, I think so. Yep, yeah, that works too, I heard it pop. Took me a while to figure out the wipers. So it's got intermittent and, and that. So you see all that. We oh, got the seat too. I can show them the seat. Oh yeah. Oh, I got the controls right here on the door panel. Yeah, right here. See, look at there. All this stuff works good. Oh, well, there was another thing I, I saw. You know, these cars got all the neat features on it, but you know, the new cars got it all electronic, but they didn't have electronics in those days. So you got this outside temperature there you can read from inside here. That's pretty neat. Oh. You can see the lights work good there. Everything. You can see the doors. Look at how nice they close. This whole back end, I mean this thing just looks looks great. Look at there. Clean trunk. Look at the look at all this. I'm sure that's all original right there, just the way it came from the factory. I doubt this thing's been played with much at all. All this looks good. It's not full of holes. It's not been full of water or any of that sort of stuff. It all, it all looks good. Closes good. Again, I love this top. I mean, it just, it, it, it just looks like a convertible. 
You can see this side's good. Everything looks good here. Look at those seats. I was interested. I just didn't realize it, but boy, they're in all great shape. It's not, doesn't look like it's ever been touched. I think you'd be real happy if you're looking for a really clean mark. This is, this is a clean one. Doors all closed good. Let's take it down the road, show you how it runs and drives. Shut the lights off. Yeah, see there? They open and close really well. Andrew's gonna take it outside. You can see it's got a lot of tread on the tire right there. It all looks good. And again, I just love this. I, I, I keep wanting to put the top down. I think it would be really pretty in a convertible. It looks like a convertible. We're going to go underneath this 79 Lincoln Mark V. And you can see it's good and solid. It really is solid. It's got surface rust in places, like back here on this piece here, but no rust in the body. That all looks good. I mean, you can look up in there and everything. It's a good solid body on this thing. Everything looks good and solid. It's not clean, it's not been restored. We haven't done anything to it. It just the way we, Got it in. It's got four wheel disc brakes on it all the way around. The mufflers look good. They might be the original mufflers on this thing. Might be the original uh, exhaust pipe on here. I really don't know. However, there's up above here. You can see there's some surface rust on there, but it, see, it's still got the original color on there. It, just the way it came from the factory. So it hasn't been out in salt where it gets corroded or any of that sort of stuff. But it does, it's rusty like like in here and, and I don't know why particularly because if it was in bad rust area, it the floor pans would have looked that way. And I, And I'm looking at these things right here I don't think anybody would have put those back on uh, necessarily. Maybe those are the catalytic converters. I don't know. I'm not into new stuff. Just old stuff is what I like. And of course, you can see it's got the disc brakes on the front here too. And it just nothing exciting under here. It's not a restored car. Nobody would expect it to be a restored car. It's just it's a, just a good driving car. It looks like it's got a new fuel pump on there, though. Look at there up there. I see that. So that looks like it's been replaced. Other than that, I don't think it's anything's ever been done to this thing, particularly. Doesn't look like it's been wrecked or anything like that. It all looks just good and solid everywhere you look. I don't see any damage anywhere. Well, I think you'd, you'll have a good time driving this car. We're going to head down I-5 southbound so you get a chance to see it going down the freeway.
just feel how smooth this car is going down the, the road. It just runs great. Quiet too. Yeah, and it is quiet too. So well, there's a speedometer. I can't read it from here. So it's at 70 and we're at 70. Well, I just went over 70, 73. So it's pretty accurate. Okay, so the speedometer 70, is... 75 on the GPS. Yeah, now he's doing 75. And you just see we're floating along. This thing is very comfortable to ride. So that cruise control, he just he's just hit the buttons on the cruise control. Hands free so got too. no hands free <laughs> on there. So we just had the... Uh, the front end had a bad uh, drag link in it, I think it was, they had to replace on it. That's another reason I knew it wasn't 36,000 original miles. So anyway, we, uh, we got all that taken care of. We serviced it and safety checked it. It needs a dimmer switch, and Andrew's going to look for one. They couldn't find one locally here. And the other thing that's not working is what? The gas gauge. Oh, the gas and gauge. We, he's, got, he's got a gas gauge. Uh, uh, sending unit coming. He's ordered it, so we'll get that in too. So we should have everything working really good on this car. It's a nice car. It just drives good, comfortable. I'd give you a chance to see it going down the freeway at 70 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour we hit. bad spot in the dash right here. I don't know if you could get that piece to replace that or not. I don't know. We just sold a 1939 Lincoln Zephyr with a V12 in it. Boy, it was a neat piece. So we do get a Lincolns in from time to time. Usually we do older cars in this, but the guy brought it to us, and I'm always looking for neat cars, and this was a nice, clean car, so I bought it. He was, got it from his dad, who died, and he shipped it up from Arizona to here, and uh, he was moving down to Arizona, and he didn't have a way to take it down and stuff, and he didn't want to mess with shipping it and everything else. So this is how uh, how I acquired this car. And again, we've serviced it and safety checked it and made sure everything was good on it. We knew the steering had a little bit of a problem with it. It wasn't bad, but I just wanted it to be really nice. We spend a lot of time making sure our cars are good. It doesn't mean we hit everything or find everything, but we look. back to Drager's Clubhouse so you got a chance to see it running down the freeway. So hope you enjoyed the ride.